now as you can see let me show you the game as you can see right here our game looks now looks uh, it looks perfect but we need to add some particle effect and as you know the particle effect was the crows okay this one so we need to add this so right here we will create a new particle system so select the particle system and scroll down and right here take this texture sheet animation and change the mode from grid to sprite and select the particle system move above and let just give the position x0 and the y as well 0 so let me just just zoom in right here now as you can see this is our particle system so now uh, go back inside the texture suit animation right here we will add our own sprite so now if we scroll down we want to add this sprite now as you can see so select it now you can expand on the shape section and right here you can set it to crone or you can set it to rectangle or let this say edge as you can see the different shapes but i will use this cone and now let's just change it rotation so i will type minus 90 and the x rotation will be zero now as you can see they are moving from my right side let's just move it down below and we don't want to show the particles being spawned on our camera so just move it right there now in the shape let's just increase the radius to 19 and as you can see now the radius is now expanded let's just change it to 12 because we don't want to show too many particles and now let's change the value of the start size because they are too big but first select this random between two constant because I want to add some difference so the first value will be let us say 0 0.5 and the next value will be 1 so now as you can see some are some of the particles are now small and some are some of the particles are now big and if you want to add only one size so just select the first one okay so now let's just change the start speed to 3 and now as you can see they are starting very slow but when i change it to 5 now as you can see they are really fast and just play around with this particle system and you can design your own particle system however you want okay just simply change the values and everything so let me just change this lifetime to 4 and the speed will be 5 and let's just add the random between two constant in the start lifetime we will just create some particle really fast and some really slow now lastly i will check this pre-warm checkbox so that my particles will show on the screen when i start my game and if you want to add some more particles then you can just simply click on this emission and you can change this value which is rate over time so let's just uh, change it to 9 or let's just say 3 now as you can see it will create 3 particles per second let's just change it to 5 or 7 and the rate over distance will be 3 and now as you can see it is creating particles according to the emission values we gave and guys you don't have to follow me you can just play around with this particle system and add your own values and try different options and once you are done then simply make this particle system the child of the game manager so that it will move with our camera check this box which is re-simulate and change the y value to 0 and change the c value to 0 
and now let's just restart it so as you can see the particles are now appearing on the screen